Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Slipjoint Sawyer here. Today we're going to be looking at a Shatton Morgan knife. It's one I put out short of um, middle of last week and asked you guys if you'd like to see a video on it. I had some great comments, some great responses and the overall feeling is people would like to see like a more in-depth review of it. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Before we jump into that, I just want to give a big shout out and a big thank you to everyone that watches my videos. I really do appreciate it, those that subscribe, like and comment on my on my content. There is a big portion of people that aren't subscribed to me that do watch my stuff. So if you if you, if you could subscribe to me, that would really mean a lot. Obviously, if you, you don't have to, if you don't want to, but I would really appreciate if you could su subscribe to me. I'm getting ever so close to that 500 sub mark and there will be a 500 sub giveaway. So enough of that. Let's get on to the knife. So we'll start with the box as it did come in original packaging. So you can see here you have the American pocket knives. It's the Keystone series and it's a Shatton Morgan Cutlery Company and that's from Tudiotsville, PA and it's got natural gas used exclusively for forging and tempering. And then here you have, it's a 2009, it's the series XIX and the model number is 042922. And this is also in the Keystone, Keystone shape, which is the same as the shield, but we'll have a look at that in a second. But that's the only sort of markings on the outside of the knife. And this Shatton Morgan was made by Queen Cutlery when they were still open and making USA made knives. I know they have started producing some, uh, they've done a couple of trappers that are USA made, but the majority of the Queen stuff is Chinese made right now. So we'll take a little look inside. It's this nice sort of like sleeve box. And there is the knife. And it did come as well wrapped up in the original tissue paper. Something you don't very see very often original packaging and even the the little bag inside is original so we'll just pop that to one side and let's take a look at the bone on this i mean look at the tobacco bone on that tobacco bone whiskey bone you know it, it fits both you've got the you know the dark patches the light patches the transitions in the color that beautiful keystone shield as well everything's flush as you would expect I mean, just just look at the bone. It's just something about natural bone when it's dyed and it takes this sort of material, this colouring, sorry. There's nothing better than when they dye it once and it goes like this and they just leave it. I don't particularly like it when a company dyes it to an inch of its life and, you know, it's just a solid red or a solid black. I much prefer this. And as you can see, this is the Coke bottle pattern where you can see it's quite thin up here, bulges out in the centre and then that rounded base there. And we look at the back springs and the liners, immaculate. No gapping at all, beautifully polished. So you have the steel springs with the brass liners and then on the reverse, more of the same story from the front. Just look how wonderful that bone is. Got that nice dark patch in the middle and it gets lighter towards the outside perfect transitions when you're rubbing across here you wouldn't even guess that it goes from bone into the bolster it's so smooth absolutely wonderful so we'll take a look at the pen blade first it's quite a strong pull on this pen blade it's at least an eight just wipe that off and you can see as well the unique shape of the blades it's almost like a tanto pen blade but you can see the etching on there. You've got the 2009 and the model number, which again is 042922, I believe that is, and the XIX underneath. Nice tiny little swedge on the top. Beautiful mirror polish on this as well. And then you have there the Shatton Morgan Tang stamp. Stamped in there so cleanly as well. nice grind on this one as well i know i say i like to use all my knives but this is one i will not use this i wouldn't say it's a grail but when i found it i had to get it but this is what i this this is a safe queen for me it's it's something i pull out every so often just to look at what knife manufacturers can do and you know and they, they produce work like this So there's the pen blade. It does have a half stop, nice positive half stop, and a nice affirmative close as well. Blade centering, 
a little bit off on both, but you know, nothing to write home about. It's not touching the sides and there's plenty of gaps either side, so I'm not going to complain. And yet again, as I was saying, this is not a user knife for me. And then we have this almost between a spear point blade and the tanto again, you know, that drop there and the drop in the middle. I would even go as far as saying it's almost like a dagger blade. But you have that really nice long pull on the top there with the swedge. And then you have Shat and Morgan there and one of 600. So this is quite a limited run of knives. 600 is not an, an awful large number. And like a lot of production knives now are made in their thousands. You see, nice edge on this as well. And on the back here, nice edge, even all the way across. And then you can see there the Queen Cutlery Company stamp there. This was made by Queen for Shat and Morgan. And I mean, look at the stamping of the tang. It's immaculate. They've done such a wonderful job. And just the shape of this as well. The only sort of gripe I would say about it is the ends of the tangs here. They do stick up quite high. So when you have got it in hand, it does poke you in the hand a bit. But as I said, it's a safe queen for me. So I won't be using this for any sort of work. Again, affirmative half stop. And a nice snap down into the close. But, you know, the bone says it all about the knife. The quality of it, the die job of it, you can see the natural grain of the bone, the little dimples if I get the light just right. And that's just, I think the keystone shield is beautiful on there as well. There you can see the grain just up here with the bone and down here where the light moves. Absolutely wonderful knife. So there you go guys, that's my overview of this Queen Cutlery made Shat and Morgan knife. I hope you did enjoy this and I hope it was worth the wait from the short I put out before. But if you do, do enjoy my videos, please be sure to like, subscribe and ring that bell for notifications and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.